Okay, guys. Today's video, I have something totally different, something totally special. I was contacted by the Oxido Corporation to actually review some of their LED lights. Uh, they actually sent me one to install on the rim and to review. So that's coming up next. Roll the footage. Hey guys, before the intro, I mentioned I was contacted by the uh, Oxido Corporation. Now, Oxido is a company that sells uh, LED lighting for vehicles and other accessories. Uh, they contacted me, wanting me to put something on my rim, and I was like, sure, I'd love to, So and review it and everything. So, I'm going to do that now. Uh, they actually sent me a LED third brake light for this. So, I'm going to install it on camera, show you the differences in their product versus with the factory and everything so that's coming up right now i'll have a uh, link in the description uh so if you're interested in one of their products you can go through there and get you get what you're looking for uh, like i said i'm real pleased to work with them they seem like really good people a really good company uh the uh people that contacted me were really easy to deal with and everything so i'm sure they would be just with uh buying something from them so Check out Oxido. Like I said, the link will be in the description. Okay, right now we're going to go ahead and install this one. Uh, and then once I get it installed, you'll be able to see I'll, I'll have after this uh, the, uh, the differences, day time and night time. So let's get on it. Okay. okay, there's the factory one. As you can see, it's just a regular plastic one with incandescent bulbs. Good thing about LEDs is they're not going to get hot. They're not going to blow anytime soon. I've seen a lot of these actually melt just from the heat of like running cargo lights and stuff. Uh, it seems like one of my Chevrolets I had before actually did do that. So, you know, it's a plug and play option. Doesn't get hot. It's a really good product, like I was saying. So, incandescent lights. You can see this one's probably already about to blow versus LED. So, now before I put this on, I'm going to go ahead and clean right through here with some, uh, some type of cleaner like alcohol or something like that just to make sure this gets a good seal i recommend doing that because you don't want water getting down in here and that will keep it sealed tight so let me get some cleaner clean that off and we'll get this one installed all right guys so this is the new seal this is just a piece of where they cut it out that they throw on there i'm actually going to save on that i might use it for something else so, but uh basically it's just a stick on seal so, take this and tear this off and begin sticking her. Now you just want to line this up all the way around this seal like so tear us this tape off of it or backing rather off the adhesive like so there we go all right so i have the old one out it was just two screws and this plug and that's basically all it is put it back in you have these little alignment tabs if you can see right here go in these holes and then the screws go in these holes and this just plugs in uh you set this uh, resistor back in there it'll have two bolts this one did for shipping just to hold it together but i took them off and used my black ones i'm not sure if you because these are actually what you need to do it so, but uh, we'll get that in right now.
like I said, we're gonna plug her in like so, and it can only go one way. Simple plug, and that. And then you just, now these little tabs are fiddly, but there you go. And you just take the screw in, four-way screwdriver, obviously. Phillips is not hillbillies column. Just tighten it up here. And you can see it starting to press that seal down. Make sure when you tighten this up, just enough to crush the seal. You don't want to put a lot of tension on this or you'll crack your plastic. Because this is just plastic. And it's wet because the truck's wet, because it's pouring rain. But that's it. It's, it's installed, it's complete. It looks great. I wasn't really sure how I would like this uh, smoked or this tinted one, but on this gray truck, Especially with the back window tinted, it looks like it's a factory part. It looks probably better than a red one would. So I'm actually really pleased with that. There it is installed, guys. Uh, it looks really, really good. Uh, I'm real pleased to work with Oxido. Uh, they've been a pleasure to work with. I hope to work with them more in the future. And, and maybe even if I don't, I'll probably buy some of their products because they're priced as good as you can get them anywhere. It's probably less than Amazon or something like that. Um, and they and they sell a really good product. They also sell st a lot of other products. Like I said, they sell the LED tail lights and like different headlights and just loose bulbs uh seems like they had some mats quite a bit of stuff on their website there so check them out they have a lot of stuff out there so uh i have i'll have a link to it in the description like i mentioned uh you know if you're wanting something for your vehicle uh they may have a little, a little something you can use i know i saw a lot of stuff on there for other full-size trucks like these not just this one so you know so but uh can give them a check out there if you see something you like you know hey guys one thing i wanted to touch base on too any product i review or endorse or say hey i've got this it's something i would use it's not i'm not going to just endorse anything just for money or do review anything just for money or mention anything just for money i do it for something that i would actually personally have on my vehicles and personally believe in so just getting that out of the way i don't want everybody to think i'm just you know just out there for the money because i'm not i do this for more than just money all right guys that's my first review of a product had a good time doing it uh like i said check oxido out and keep checking us out you know gonna have something every week next week we're gonna probably have something with uh some uh actual metal fab work on one of the cars we're gonna try to uh, if we can get it over here so That'll be something I think a lot of people will enjoy. Uh, we do have the hoodies out now for sale. The pricing will be on the, uh, I'll have them listed on Facebook and stuff, what the pricing is. If you don't know how to get me on Facebook, I've got a link to it on my YouTube if you just go to it. I've got Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and you can message me anytime. I usually get back pretty fast. Uh, I'll ship it to you, whatever. Uh, the beanies should be out this weekend. I'll have pricing for them when they're uh, complete. 
we do have some like Velcro patches we're gonna do too for people that's got bags and stuff that use the Velcro patches like I do. And uh, still got t-shirts, still got the uh, this hat. Uh, we've actually got some bigger sizes in the t-shirts and 2X and 3X and I, uh, maybe even a 4X in there, I'm not sure. Uh, they are just a slight bit more because I have to pay more. So they're like $2 more each size you go up. Just how it is. I mean, it's because it ends up being more material, they charge you more. So that's the only way I can come out. Uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out Oxido. Thanks for watching. Keeps, I love the support. I'm up to 222 subscribers. I'm hoping to get up there higher, looking to get to 1,000. Guys, just keep checking me out. Keep telling everybody about me. I, I, I'll try to put out everything I can. The more I do, the more you, more people like me, the more people watch me, the better I can do with this. So all you guys that do, I love you and I thank you. Uh, just keep liking, sharing, and subscribing. And don't forget to go rig something up. You don't get nothing done just sitting there.